in Elementor, if you want to place several containers side by side, then all you need to do is click align items in a row. If I click on this main container and you can see there are several containers over here in, within this color, container and all I need to do is change the direction to row horizontal. Then this will fit over here. Okay, let me delete this. Okay, right. Okay. You see that these two columns fit within the row. Okay. But the problem is that when you start adding more and more containers, it starts fitting all those containers in a single row. Suppose if I want to have three containers in a single row, then I add, start adding more and more containers over here. You see, you see, more and more containers I start to add, then it keeps adding all of this in a single row. So that's the problem. Okay, you see, it's all of the, if you keep adding more, then it will forever keep start adding, keep stead, keep adding this container within a single row. Okay. So in order to do this, so in order to, so in some cases you, you might want to have two containers side by side or only three containers side by side. In that case, to fix this issue, you'll need to set a specific width to these containers so that on the specific number of containers are within a certain row. So let me show you how to do it. Okay. So let me just delete this con. Uh, all together and start from scratch okay so let me just add a flexbox container over here so this is the main container and what i'm going to do let me just set a kind of color to it okay just kind of a light color okay then what i do i add a container to it let me add a color to it color background color to it okay let me add a blue color let me duplicate this three times so that there are four boxes okay four boxes great now what i do if i simply go to main container and click go to layout and click this then it, all of them four are together but what i want to do i want to have okay let me just add a bit more duplicate duplicate so now there are one two three four five six six boxes okay there are six boxes right now and but what i want to do i want to only have one two three three co three containers side by side and the other three will go to down okay in a second row so that's what i want in order to do this what i need to do i need to calculate i need to set specific widths to each of this container okay but if i do it right now then it's not going to work okay so firstly to in order to do this firstly click on this main container and the very first thing is you want to do is now click on this wrap column okay but if you click on this wrap column each of the container takes up the entire width okay now let's set a specific width to this so i want to have three containers side by side so three meaning by three meaning let me just open up the calculator app calculator so if i so the total percentage is 100 and if i want to have only three divided by three which is which equals to 33.33 percent okay per container uh, but i want to have let me just set before setting the percentage click on this container change the content width from box to full width and then it changes to percentage so let me change it to 33 also change it to full width 33 see it goes side by side now for this also change to full width and 33 okay but you see that it doesn't fit because due to there is a kind of a bit of padding okay between this container so in order to make them fit i need to decrease the percentage over here 232 also for this to 32 and also for this to 32 now you see it fits in perfectly in a single row okay you see it, it fits in perfectly let me just put in some content within each box okay let me just make it a white color white okay center line okay great copy paste 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 and 
paste and paste. Okay, great. Now what you need to do? So we made this. Uh, we made three containers side by side. Now copy this and paste over here. Paste style. Paste style, and also paste style. Okay. So what happens now if you want to have only two containers side by side? Okay. Then you you'll need to have. If you want to have two containers side by side, then uh one hundred percent divided by two, which is fifty percent. But once again, if you set to fifty percent, then uh it's not going to fit due to the padding. Okay, if I set also this one to fifty percent, okay, it doesn't fit. So let's reduce the percentage to forty nine and also this to forty nine. See now it fits. Okay, just reduce. Whatever you have over here, you make it reduce by 1%. Okay, then you simply just copy and paste the style for the rest of the columns. Okay. Paste style and also paste style. Okay. So, uh, this is how you set specific width to columns. Okay, this is one. Now, let's do another thing. Let's check the tablet. Okay, on tablet you see that it doesn't, it's not doing so well. So you might want to adjust it a bit, maybe 45. Okay, now simply copy, paste style, 45, paste style, paste style, paste style, and also paste style. Okay, now you see that you it, all of this column goes to left hand side. To make sure that they are aligned nicely, click on this main container and click on align items center. Okay, not you see now it align items center, justified content center. Okay, great. Now let's go to mobile. We see over here, very nice. Let's go to desktop again. Desktop it fits perfectly. So this is how maybe for also desktop you can click on this and maybe justify contents to center. You see it moved a bit. Okay, if I don't, then you see it just a bit left aligned. Okay, so justify content center so that these containers are nicely aligned center and also align items to center. So this will also vertically align center. So this is how you set specific width to each container and, and um, justify them within the center and also make them responsive on mobiles and tablets. Okay, so I hope you have found this video useful and if you did then please make to make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.